Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Uh, we're here uh, today to provide an update and answer some questions related to the murder of Savion Hopkins that occurred on September 8th uh, near 11th and O Streets. On Wednesday, October 16th, 23-year-old uh, Kavion Wright of Omaha, Nebraska was arrested for first degree murder, use of a firearm to commit a felony, and two counts of second degree assault. Investigators also arrested 30-year-old Gregory Bahati of Omaha, Nebraska, for aid and abet first degree murder, aid and abet use of a firearm to commit a felony, and aid and abet two counts of second degree assault. The Lincoln Police Department would like to thank our criminal investigators and members of our crime analysis unit for their dedication and tireless efforts to hold those responsible accountable for their actions. <clears throat> we would also like to extend our gratitude to the Omaha Police Department and specifically their homicide, felony assault, gang, and intelligence units for their assistance in this ongoing investigation. Additional thanks to the Omaha Police Department SWAT team, the United States Marshals Fugitive Task Force, and the Douglas County Sheriff's Office for their assistance with the apprehension of Wright and Bahati yesterday. Our local businesses and community members played a critical role in this investigation, and we are thankful for their willingness to assist in this ongoing case. After reviewing video and other digital evidence, and interviewing dozens of witnesses, our investigators have made the following determinations. On September 8th, shortly after 1 a.m., a series of disturbance, disturbances and fights took place near 11th and O Streets. While those incidents unfolded, Wright, Bahati, and Hopkins were in the area, however, they were not actively involved in those fights. Just prior to the shooting taking place, Bahati had a minor involvement in one of the fights. Bahati disengaged from the fight turned and looked towards the area where Hopkins and Wright were standing and said, shoot him, while pointing in the direction of Hopkins. Wright, who was standing behind Hopkins, produced a firearm and fired at least two rounds before fleeing the scene. Those rounds ultimately struck Hopkins and led to his death. <clears throat> Video evidence showed Wright flee to a vehicle a few blocks away. That vehicle, a 2021 black Honda Pilot, was owned by a family member of Bahati. While working in conjunction with the Omaha Police Department, investigators were able to determine, based on video surveillance, that Wright had left his residence in Omaha around 11 p.m., uh, just before a couple hours before the shooting, wearing the same clothing that the person responsible for the shooting was wearing. <clears throat> they also determined that the black Honda Pilot was the vehicle that drove Wright from his residence in Omaha to Lincoln. That same vehicle then returned Wright to his residence after the shooting took place in Lincoln. On October 15th, arrest warrants were issued for Wright and Bahati. In addition, search warrants were issued for the residents of Wright and Bahati up in Omaha, Nebraska. The Lincoln Police Department, in coordination with the Omaha Police Department SWAT team, gang unit, and homicide units, along with the United States Marshals Fugitive Task Force, served those search warrants in Omaha where Bahati was taken into custody just after 6 o'clock in the morning yesterday at his residence, and Wright was arrested shortly after around noon uh, in Douglas County. Both Wright and Bahati were then lodged at the Lancaster County Jail. This investigation, again, highlights the role our community plays in these complicated cases. It also shows the strong working relationship we share with our law enforcement partners in Omaha and around the state. This investigation is still ongoing, but we currently do not believe that there are any other suspects at large. We ask anyone with information that could help investigators to call the Lincoln Police Department at 402-441-6000 or to remain anonymous, they can call Crime Stoppers at 402-475-3600. And with that, I take any questions. Do you know what caliber of weapon was used in this or is that still under investigation? We, we do know, but that's something that we're holding back right now until some further testing is done. Was there a weapon found um, in relation to the shooting um, when Wright or Bahati were arrested? Um, I can tell you that there were weapons that were seized um, during the search warrants and the search warrants and the searches up in Omaha, uh, and certainly there'll be testing done on those to determine if they have any involvement in this incident. Would you be able to say how many? Uh, there were three guns in total located yesterday in Omaha. All handguns? No. There were two handguns and a rifle. You said the gang unit was involved. Was there some term gang-related incident then? I don't know that the incident itself was gang-related or gang-motivated. 
Um, certainly, uh, the individuals um, at least responsible for it have connections to gangs up in Omaha. You mentioned that it was Bahati who um, said, told the rights to shoot him, pointing towards. How did you um, come to that conclusion? Was it video that he was heard saying this? Yeah, so that was one of the great things um, at the early onset of this case is that uh, we received uh, quite a significant amount of video from citizens that were in the area um, that had recorded the fights taking place early on. Uh, and so a lot of that was shared with us really early on and it just took time to, to get through all that. Um, so that's where some of that information came from, yeah. If, um, if Hopkins wasn't involved in the fight, is, is there a reason you have, um, or what you believe at least so far, why Bahati said to shoot him if he was involved in That's something we'd, we're certainly still trying to get answers for. Um, you know, in this case, there may be only two, two people that know that answer. Um, and so we're, we're certainly trying to, to sort through that. But at this point, we don't have uh, what that reasoning is. And there's no connection between Hopkins or Wright or Bahati? There's no connection between them? Um, I mean, there may be connections between them as far as historical speaking, but um, especially with two of them being from Omaha, we, we don't necessarily have all of those answers just yet. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you.